Matter is a physical thing that takes up some space. Meaning anything that has a mass and takes up any space is matter. But experts have different opinions on this. But the matter that we know, like atoms, you and I, trees, dirt, mountains, planet Earth, stars, and galaxies are all made out of matter. And the matter that we know makes up less than 5% of the entire universe. Wait, what? So what is the rest of the world, the remaining 95%? So it's not made out of matter? 25% of the universe is made up of dark matter. So there's 70% still left. That 70% is made up of dark energy. The difference between dark energy and matter next to regular matter is that we can't see it. So we did all these research, all these studies, and we only know what 5% of the universe is made of. So we are really behind on this, because we still don't know what 95% of the world is made of or how it works. Wait, it gets worse. We still don't know what dark energy and dark matter are. And we also don't know what they're doing. But we are kind of sure that there's something like that out there. But let's go look at these invisible things. But wait, we can't really see them. But let's go get to know them a little bit. Astronomers believe that without dark matter, galaxies, stars, would not be together. They give an example, like when you look at an aquarium, you see fishes and other creatures swimming in the water. So if you take that water away, the fish can no longer swim or stay afloat like that. You can kind of look at the water in the aquarium like dark matter in the universe, and the galaxies are like the fishes, where they're floating along and moving along. Studies have shown that we know what dark matter is not rather than what it is. Like we are sure that dark matter is not antimatter, because when antimatter and regular matter are mixed, it produces gamma rays, and we could detect that. And we also know that dark matter is not a black hole. Because a black hole is like a vacuum cleaner sucking up everything around it. So it's not a black hole. Because a black hole is one thing that's sucking up everything into itself. But dark matter is found everywhere and it doesn't suck anything into itself. So about dark matter, we are sure of three things. We know that there is something there. Second of all, it works with gravity. And last but not least, we know that there is a lot of it and it's covering most of the universe. A weird type of matter where we can't see it or communicate with it. We can't even do proper research on it or look at it under the microscope. You could say we're really curious about dark matter because we don't know anything about it. So let's move on to dark energy. Let's go see what that is. Unfortunately, we have to tell you that this is weirder than dark matter. When you try to learn about dark energy, you realize that you're kind of blind because we also can't see this thing. Just like dark matter, we can't see it, we can't touch it, we can't hold it in our hands, and we can't eat it. But don't think that it doesn't exist because we can still see its effects. In 1929, Edwin Hubble made an amazing discovery. He realized that in the faraway galaxies, he saw them spreading out. Kind of like an explosion, 
where the shrapnel gets farther and farther, it spreads out more and more. And the farther you look into a universe, the faster the galaxies are spreading apart. It was at that moment that Hubble discovered that the universe is expanding. And day by day, it adds to the diameter of the universe. But recently, they realized that the speed of this expansion is speeding up day by day. In Hubble's era, they believe that the expansion is slowing down. And like an explosion, where it gets to the end, it starts to shrink back down again. But now they know that that idea was wrong. Right now we have realized that the empty spaces between galaxies are becoming bigger and bigger. So what is that energy that's doing all this work? How are these giant galaxies moving across the galaxy and spreading apart? This is all because of dark energy. You could pretty much say, dark energy is the strongest energy in the universe and you can't even see it. There's some ideas about dark energy. Some people believe that the empty spaces in the universe are dark energy. And it's a law of physics that this happens. The next idea was from Einstein. And he suggested that this energy is vacuum energy. But this took too much of Einstein's time. He did a lot of calculations, but he could never find an answer. So he never really followed up to that idea. There's also another idea that the universe is made up of some particles. And these particles are in a cycle where they're being born and dying. And this cycle causes this energy. Until right now, this is pretty much all we know about dark energy. So you could say we're pretty much in the dark. These two dark things shows us that we're so proud and we think we know it all about the world. And we've figured everything out. But we really don't know anything. We're in a faraway island. Our heads are stuck in smartphones. And there are some people looking at the sky thinking they're figuring stuff out. People might figure everything out, but until we figure everything out, it's still too early. Because for this job, we're not there yet. There might be a day where we know everything about the universe, and we can find out how this universe started, how it works, and how these weird energies work around us. By making this video, not only did we not answer our questions, we added a few questions to our list. What do you guys think?